गुड मॉर्निंग टूडेज टॉपिक इज एलजेब्रिक फैक्ट्राइजेशन बाई जी सी एफ मैथड और वी कैन से टेकिंग कॉमन आउट इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ फैक्ट्राइजेशन वॉट इज़ फैक्ट्राइजेशन दैन वॉट इज एलजेब्रिक फैक्ट्राइजेशन एंड देन आई मेड अ लिस्ट ऑफ सिक्स मैथड्स विच कुड बी यूज फॉर डूइंग एलजेब्रिक फैक्ट्राइजेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द फर्स्ट मैथड दैट इज जी सी एफ मैथड और लाइक जी सी एफ मीन्स ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर और टेकिंग कॉमन आउट सो वट एवर इज़ द ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर टेक इट आउट ऑफ द जैप्रिक एक्सप्रेशन सो फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल आई एम गिविंग यू हेयर लेट से यू हैव बीन गिवन एन एल जैब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन दिस सो एज यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ फैक्ट्राइजेशन वी आर टू कन्वर्ट दिस एक्सप्रेशन इन टू इट्स फैक्टर्स फॉर्म और फैक्टर्स विल बी रिटर्न इन इट्स प्रोडक्ट सो हियर वी विल ट्राई टू राइट द फैक्टर्स ऑफ द कोफिशेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर सी टू कुड बी रिटर्न एज टू इन टू वन एक्स स्क्वायर और एक्स स्क्वायर कुड बी ऑल्सो स्प्लिटेड इन टू एक्स so you can see here we can write like 2 is the coefficient it could be written as 2 into 1 and x square is written so we can split it as well in it into its powers when the bases are same its power could be added so x square could be written as x into x when there is no power or index given there is one always so we transform this into this plus 4 could be written as 2 into 2 into x and 6 could be written as 2 into 3 so what we did we basically transformed the coefficients into its factors 4 is converted 2 into 2 6 is converted into 2 into 3 now see what is the greatest common factor here or you can see what's the number which is present in all these terms here if you see 2 is common in all of them and that's it nothing else x square 2 times x is there or uh, x square is there here x is there one time and here x is not there it means we are to take two common out so what's left here one two ones are two so one uh, written or not it doesn't affect the uh, term so in inside this x square is left from this one two has been taken out so one one times two is there and from this two it has been taken out so only three is left so here you can see this is the first factor and this is the second factor there is nothing common in these three terms further so this is done we are done with the factorization so this method is called taking common out or uh, taking greatest common factor out of the uh, expression i i will try to show you one more example Now see this example: 20x cube plus 4x square plus 8. Here again, we will try to transform this 20 into its factors, and we will be splitting this one into its uh, smaller indices as well. So 20, you can say 4 into 5. We can write this as this. Similarly, x could be written separately like this. X does have the power one in it three times, so x power cube or x cube could be written this way as well. Plus four x square, so we can write four into one into x into x. Now here x power two was there, we split it into its single powers. And last one eight. So our interest will be that we may be transforming. the numbers given into such factors so that the maximum number that could be taken common out of it it is represented in the factor form so i tried here that 4 must be there within uh, the split terms for all these three so from here if let's check out what's common 4 is present 4 is present 4 is present this is the uh, one of the greatest uh, common factor in this algebraic uh, expression then if we see 5 5 is here but 5 is not present in these two x power 1 is there three times here it is present two times and there x is not present so it means x is not common in three of them so we will not write x as a common factor so 4 is the greatest common factor which is present in three of the terms so take 4 out 
and then write the remaining terms inside. Now I'm again combining these powers. 5x cube, 4 is taken out, 1 is left. So 1 is written or not, it doesn't affect. And from there, only 2 is left. So you write it this way or, or this way. So this is done. Factorization is done. That is all. Uh, this is the first method. I have explained it clearly. I hope you have understood it well. If any other queries there still about this topic, do share your comments, please. I'll be looking for them. Thank you so much. Don't forget to watch the second method of factorization in my next video.